There is a planet that has long remained beyond our full understanding. With each new study, it draws more and more attention from scientists and astronomers, offering no clear answers. Everything we know about it only deepens the mystery of its existence, pushing us toward new questions and hypotheses. What is truly hidden in the depths of this world? What secrets does it still hold? Don't miss the chance to learn more. Like and subscribe to follow the most thrilling journey through space. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, may at first glance appear fairly ordinary among the other giants of our solar system. But what makes it special and incredibly intriguing to scientists? Positioned at a distance of 2.8 billion kilometers from the Sun, Uranus not only possesses a unique orientation, but also exhibits extremely unusual physical characteristics. The planet's equator is tilted at an angle of 97 degrees relative to its orbital plane, making Uranus appear as though it's lying on its side, flipped upside down. As a result, one of its poles experiences continuous sunlight for 42 years, while the opposite pole remains in darkness for just as long. Interestingly, at the equator, the day, though shorter than on Earth, still resembles a familiar cycle, with the sun occasionally disappearing below the horizon as it moves in a circular path. Why then are Uranus's magnetic poles positioned so unusually? This question also yields a surprising answer. On Uranus, the magnetic poles are offset from the true ones. The southern magnetic pole lies in the northern hemisphere and the northern in the southern. This anomaly arises because the planet's magnetic field is not generated by its core, as with most other planets, but instead originates in its outer layers, where powerful flows of material exist. Consequently, the center of Uranus's magnetic dipole is located one-third of the way from its geographic center. Equally intriguing are the temperature conditions on Uranus. In the lower layers of its atmosphere, temperatures can plummet to minus 224 degrees Celsius, a result of the extremely long polar nights, during which some regions of the planet receive no sunlight for over 40 years. What hidden forces might be responsible for the unusual atmospheric anomalies that generate hurricanes? Even in such a seemingly calm atmosphere, unusual phenomena occur. In 2006, astronomers discovered a large dark spot which turned out to be a powerful storm with winds reaching 200 meters per second. This phenomenon is not unique to Uranus, as similar structures are observed on other gas giants. And of course, the rings of Uranus cannot be overlooked. Their discovery in 1977 was a significant event in astronomy, as they were the first rings found around a planet other than Saturn. Uranus has 13 known rings in total, two of which were only detected in 2005. Historically, William Herschel also reported possible observations of rings, though modern scientists remain skeptical about the accuracy of these claims. How did specialized processing of astronomical images lead to the discovery of a new moon of Uranus that had previously gone unnoticed by traditional observations? What unique aspects of its orbital motion might shed light on the processes of moon formation and evolution around ice giants. Using ground-based telescopes, astronomers have made a significant discovery by identifying a previously unknown moon orbiting Uranus, thereby increasing the planet's total number of satellites to 28. The newly detected object, provisionally designated S-2023 U1, is one of the faintest ever observed in the orbits of ice giants and its detection required specialized processing of astronomical images. Scott Shepard, an astronomer at the Carnegie Institution for Science, emphasized the importance of the discovery, noting that it is the first of its kind in two decades. With a diameter of only about eight kilometers, it is not only the smallest of Uranus's moons, but also ranks among the tiniest satellites in the entire solar system. The object completes a full orbit around its planet in 680 days, highlighting its uniqueness and importance for further research on moons within the planetary systems of ice giants. Could the existence of unique layers within Uranus's interior reveal new patterns in the study of other planets located far beyond our solar system? 
A recent study has proposed a new explanation for the unusual internal structure of Uranus. Inside the planet, a phase separation of a mixture of water, H2O, methane, CH4, and ammonia, NH3, is suggested. Under the high pressures and temperatures characteristic of such planets, this mixture separates into two layers, an upper layer rich in water and a lower layer composed of carbon, nitrogen, and hydrogen, CNH. Further modeling revealed that as pressure increases in the lower layer, hydrogen is gradually expelled, creating a hydrogen concentration gradient. This leads to stratification of the layer, inhibiting vertical material movement and rendering it stable. The upper layer, in contrast, remains homogeneous and convective. According to calculations, a pressure of 40 gigapascals, at which pure H2O becomes sufficiently conductive to form a dynamo-active layer, occurs near the transition between these layers. These findings have enabled scientists to more accurately reproduce the planet's gravitational field characteristics, supporting theories about Uranus's internal structure. The study's results may be verified by future missions aimed at a more detailed investigation of the structure and composition of these mysterious planets. Studies of Uranus are of great interest not only to specialists in the solar system, but also to astronomers studying exoplanets. Throughout the 21st century, none of the proposed missions to explore this planet have been implemented, primarily due to a lack of funding. Nevertheless, the scientific community continues to emphasize the importance of this objective. In the Decadal survey published in 2022 by the U.S. National Research Council, a mission to Uranus was listed among the key priorities for the development of American planetary science over the next 10 years. NASA is already working on the concept for the Uranus Orbiter and Probe mission, which involves sending both an orbiter and an atmospheric probe to the planet. The most suitable launch window is considered to be between 2031 and 2032, which would allow the spacecraft to reach Uranus by 2044. However, the implementation of these plans directly depends on financial resources as well as the availability of plutonium-238, which is essential for powering a probe at such a great distance from the sun. Meanwhile, preparations are underway for a potential Chinese mission. In 2030, as part of the Tianwen-4 launch, a 100-kilogram probe is planned to be sent on a flyby trajectory past Uranus in 2036. Thus, despite all the technical and organizational challenges, interest in the coldest planet of the solar system remains strong. We can only hope that at least one of these projects will come to fruition, as Uranus still holds many mysteries. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the latest updates.